I recognize this company. And flexible enough to adapt to changing needs because life is full of surprises. So let's take a ride. There already you see Anna. There she is. Anna is an architect. She loves sports and she also uses new mobility concepts to make her life huh. easier. Currently she's working on a very demanding project. So she has booked a yoga class in the morning. The weather's nice. Anna's looking forward to a yoga class. So the next thing she does is take her tablet and check out the available options of how to get there. The system knows Anna's profile, knows Anna to be eco-friendly and physically active. So it suggests the Bosch e-bike. So she can warm up her muscles. Bosh, Eva. Good choice. Good choice. I like class. this, Anna. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. But as I said, life's full of surprises, isn't it? Yes. There comes an alert. Uh oh, she's needed at an unscheduled meeting, 8 to 30 sharp at the construction site. There goes the yoga class, and also there goes the perfectness of the e bikes. Nevertheless, Anna stays calm because she can rely on her connected environment to help her handle any change with ease. Hmm. While she reconsiders and checks out the options again, there you are, there's rolling offices, buses, wow. taxis, depending on your mood and on the purpose of the ride, really. And Anna wants to go to a couple of documents before the meeting. So she checks out the IoT shuttle as a shared ride. She books a comfort seat with a tablet in direction of travel. Again, absolutely perfect. That's how flexible Information you can be. Of things. Wait, internet well, of things. <laughs> she dresses for work, she gets her stuff, sunglasses, Smart back, vacuum. and uh, of course she doesn't forget to shoot a smiling, <laughs> yeah. smiling uh, face at her Bosch Rockster. That's our advanced vacuum cleaning robot that makes <laughs> her life not only easier, but much tidier, I can tell you. <laughs> so outside, Shuttle is already waiting, as scheduled, and as Anna approaches, it recognizes her profile, the doors open automatically, and inside, Anna is greeted with a personal welcoming message. All her preferences are in place. For instance, she's eco-friendly, remember? Yeah. Using renewables for this ride. Also, the seating position is her preferred seating position. So it's really a very smooth transition from home to vehicle that allows her to continue what she's doing without losing time. The shuttle provides reliable and secure access to Anna's data. So she starts preparing her work. You can also move content from the tablet to the augmented passenger's window to get a closer look. Cool. And there she spots an issue with one of the construction plans. Uh -oh. So she searches her social network to get a second opinion. And John seems to be available. So um, she makes a request and she gets the information that John is on his way to the airport, which is actually the same direction Anna's heading. So the <laughs> system suggests a small deviation to pick John up and have a face-to-face -face meeting in the IoT shuttle. Again, which is perfect. Seconds ago, this issue popped up. Already everything's taken care of. That's how flexible you are with new mobility concepts. So the status now switches from shared ride to personal ride to make sure they are undisturbed. And Anna sits back and reads a message from Erica. That's a friend, she was over last night and she thinks she forgot her scarf at Anna's. Oh, cool. Well, she can hardly look for it now, can she? Yes, she can. <laughs> because the Bosch Rockstar has a built-in camera yes. and Anna can <laughs> navigate the Rockster around the apartment from the IoT shuttle and sure enough, there it is. Yeah. See, that's how you can combine what were they doing last services night with that scarf? and technology. <laughs> is this a party? And not only to access information, but also to take action from wherever you are. So this really is what we mean when we say, when we say be seamlessly connected. So um, there's John, the doors open automatically. Anna has helped herself to some water from uh, the snack bar. Also John is recognized, all his preferences are also in place. Together they discuss the issue, they settle it, because sometimes face-to-face -face discussions just do the trick, right? 
And here our IoT shuttle helps bring people together, actually. So, uh, what happens next? Hold on there. We arrive at the construction site. Anna leaves the shuttle and oh, says she is goodbye. So but forgetful. You can leave, look <laughs> what at is that. going on, she Anna? Almost Hello, forgotten Anna. Sunglasses. It's a good thing. The Are we all more forgetful in the future? Because the IoT shuttle takes care of its passengers, always knows what's going on. You will never forget your belongings again. Nice. All right? So, Bosch's new mobility concepts provide you with the flexibility you need without the hassle of driving and parking your own ride while having to keep your hands off your mobile devices, that's wow. for sure. And as a result, look at that smile. Yeah. Anna is totally relaxed and she's prepared and she's absolutely ready for that meeting. <laughs> All right, John continues, but again here, yeah, life's full of surprises. He gets a message, oh dear, his flight has been canceled. But even there, the IoT shuttle can help because it offers always access to the Bosch concert service. So whatever bothers you, you can always talk to another human being, cool. which is a relief sometimes. So the concert service helps John to rebook his flight, which is only 30 minutes later. And as they are approaching the airport, the augmented passenger's window shows John the way to his gate. We could use that. So ladies and gentlemen, really? take a moment to think about all the unplanned changes wow. John has been through in the last 30 minutes. First he was on his way to the airport, suddenly he gets a request to help Anna out. Then he is informed that his flight is cancelled. Then he has to rebook. And there he is. That's awesome. Still cool as a cucumber with a slight smile on his face. I'm telling you, <laughs> this sort of peace of mind comes from being seamlessly connected. So, what happens next? Our passengers had a ride that was safe and economical and comfortable and wonderful. Uh, but for fleet and vehicle operators, the ride never ends, right? Yeah. So, here's how we ensure high quality experience for our users. Our predictive diagnostic system optimizes maintenance, even gets some maintenance done remotely. And now our RT shuttle will take the shortest way to the closest service station, continuing business as usual on the way, because we want to keep uptime up, exactly. And also to maximize uptime, we're using the uh, recharging cycle for a cleaning service, for oh. restocking the snack bar, for further maintenance if needed, and that done. The Bosch IoT Shuttle will be ready for the next new mobility experience that helps you turn travel time into quality time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bosch IoT Shuttle, automated, connected, electrified. We do hope you enjoy the ride. Thank you very much. Where can it, where is it? Where do you go on a ride? <laughs> do they, is it in Germany? Where do they have that? It's still a prototype. I want to meet Anna. <laughs> you Did she miss Anna. her flight? I'll help her forget about John. Is oh. she here? Oh, she's, she right, is. she's right there. She is. That's Anna? Do, are these going to be on the road anytime soon? Like in Germany? Or? This one? Well, we're not a car manufacturer. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Can I put in a request for a robot dog from Bosch? Because I really like one. What would? A robot dog. Do we have the robot dog? A puppy? Dog? Yeah, I want a robot dog someday. Because I travel so much like Anna. I know. I'm busy. You need a friend, I need right? a friend, yeah. I'll check out it like Yes, put in a good word for me. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm just an actor. I don't know. She I, might she, be. She, she, might not she, be, she seems she legit. She's pretty legit. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan. I heard you got a new job. I didn't oh realize they gosh, had yeah. you on the I'm bike. Model now, so. <laughs> Looking good, buddy. What are we riding here today? It's a little bit better than marketing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just pulled in. You cruise around the show, saving your legs. I've been, yeah, I've been uh, delivering uh, pizzas, beer, and uh, just, just parking. Parking now to fuel up. Very cool, very cool. It looks like the new Urban Arrow, you guys. An updated the version. Urban Arrow, the Shorty. What is it called? The Shorty? The Shorty? Shorty. Yeah. We should know this. We're yeah, the experts. Yeah, come on. <laughs> you guys know better than me. And this is the Shorty upgraded with Kobe. Oh, is that one of the big like updates for 2019 or what's the deal? Well, Kobe was introduced to the world um, years ago, yeah. but um, compatible with the Bosch system, it was really introduced 
last year at Eurobike. That's right. We're here at CES to show this off and show the potential, um, what it can bring to your bike or e-bike. Really, it, it works for, for both, but we're really showing it on e-bikes. And let's see. I've seen it before. You got like the lights and there's a wireless backlight and there's apps and stuff. Exactly. And now you guys have the Kiox, which also might have some apps. We talked about that at Innerbike. So the Kobe is maybe it's more open open source if it's using your phone. That's the beauty of Kobe. Cool. Kobe is open source. There's an SDK, which stands for Software Development Kit. Yeah, so you're an IT guy. You know. Oh all yeah. About that. Okay, so Software Developer Kit, once you sign up to be a developer, a Kobe developer, and I just signed up uh, a few days ago, I have access to uh, developing apps for Kobe. The great thing is, I can use the sense, the data from the sensors on the phone, sensors in the bike, other huh. sensors that I wear, sensors that I connect, like, I don't know, cameras or other lights, and with all that data from the sensors, I can write whatever apps that I think might make my e-bike experience better. I love the whole internet of things concept going on and I've, I've seen like accelerometer brake lights and turn signals, like there's all yes. kinds of possibilities. Yes. So when you bring it all together, uh, you know, Kobe initially was kind of a standalone company, but then I think they merged with you guys. So it's now it's a Bosch company. We bought them. Cool, yeah, cool. Yeah. So now it's 100% Bosch owned company. So it's like right now you'll see a very tip of the iceberg in terms of apps. So we have navigation, and the wonderful thing about navigation on this is it's all controlled by your handy dandy Intuvia controller. Yeah. Um, so here, let's plan a route. Let's go to the Sands. Palace Sands, here we come. Do you want to get there fastest, shortest, or quietest? Quiet, definitely quiet. You gotta be safe, Court. Yeah, so we're yeah. Choose quiet. These are the, the, the back roads and small roads. <laughs> we'll select that. Okay, so here we go. Do you like 3D or do you like the bird's eye view? Uh um what do you think? I don't know. Uh, more of a 3D kind 3D, of 3D, yeah. But look, if you if you're not a 3D guy, you can still go bird's eye. I kinda like that. You can see this whole area. We're it's, in Las Vegas, so I don't is this right. like a golf course or something? That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I I don't it looks like a golf course. <laughs> I had no idea. Not surprised for Vegas. This is but, cool, man. But anyway, yeah, you can zoom in and out, which is great. So your hands are always on the handlebars. Safety first, of course. Your hands are always on the handlebar. You control this very simply and intuitively with this. Now I'm gonna go back to 3D. Okay, there's my route. And it's telling me I'm gonna get there in 356. Wow, yeah. this is cool, man. So any updates for 2019 for us at this show, or for, you know, whether it's Kobe or any of this other stuff? I just have to say, Kobe is not yet available or supported in North America, but okay. this is all available in Europe. Okay. It's coming to North America in the future.